Well, you try to think of something that is relatable to the audience. And uh, in Rambo 2, it became a one-man show, basically him showing his prowess. And then the same thing sort of in the third one under the guise of saving your friend. This one, it's, it's truly trying to find a, an end. Where does the warrior go? He realizes that his job is to protect and, and that's the only thing he's good for. And, but he knows if he's pushed, if something happens that's traumatic, he's going to revert back. And that's the last thing he wants. He, he just knows that if the only thing that he loves in the world is taken away, then he's going to bring vengeance. He's going to bring suffering. He's going to bring death. And there's nothing they can do about it because he welcomes it himself. No man is an island. It, it's the, the worst dilemma, one of the worst diseases that strikes mankind is loneliness, isolation, abandonment. And that when you have that and it's so precious that there's nothing you would do, not do, to sacrifice yourself for that person you love, including going into a burning building. So that's what I'm trying to convey that even Rambo can't be alone anymore. He, he really needs human contact. He needs love. You know, man is truly split in half. And, you know, Rocky is a, it's a bigger than life celebration of the glass is half full. He's just very optimistic and he just will not allow himself to burden other people with his insecurity or his, his lack of success. He just won't do that. Rambo was a tool for a machine, for a military machine. They took a, probably a young man at 17 who was already fragile and put him into a situation so horrible that he never recovered. So he's almost like the Frankenstein monster, it's like Jekyll and Hyde. And it's something that he didn't ask for. The country did, and then basically discarded him. It's an ability to kind of tap into something that is still relevant, that the one thing that will never change in your generation, you're a lot younger than me, and what's coming up in older generations is our emotions. Our heart never changes. It doesn't. It's either broken it's moved or you, it's, you feel nothing, but the heart controls it. So if you can write a story, is what I'm saying, that touches the heart, then your audience will, will never abandon you. You only, only do what you know. Don't, I, I, I recommend don't try to go into someone else's backyard and compete with the fellow who that's his genre. He, he grew up on comic books. This one here grew up on that. Just write about what you know and write about the human condition. Heart, energy, and humor. Heart, energy, and humor. If you can have those three components going, I think you'll have a very successful career. Hi guys, here's today's daily fact. Sylvester Stallone may look like the world's strongest man, but throughout his career he has suffered multiple injuries on set, including a neck injury on the set of The Expendables that required a metal plate being inserted in his neck, and also spending eight days in intensive care after a hard punch to the chest on the set of Rocky IV. Remember to click below to subscribe on the side for more great content.